Oh, the door is locked. He must be out. Interesting. So I wonder if this is his house and then he became the mayor, so it became the mayor's house? I mean, he's clearly wealthy, so maybe. Or I wonder if instead it is the mayor's mansion and whoever is the mayor gets to live in it. <laughs> maybe a little bit of both. Resting in the sewer, as per usual, as any sane person would do. Hey there, I've been hearing great things about you kids. I hear they've been knocking out jobs one after the other. You've made some successful strides from part-time job working here and there. Okay, um... Anything that's still worth having in here? Not... Well, I don't have one of these. I can just barely afford it. Ah, let's go for it. I want to see what it does. Probably like a status effect thing. Okay, that's... Oh, it prevents sleep. Okay, yeah, sure, let's throw it on. Oh! It's, a uh, Shira. Oh, it's Stella and Joshua. Shira, what are you doing here? This is a rare occasion. You're usually out and about. I just finished the jobs I took over for your father. And I was reporting to the guild. So you finished your load too, eh? Somehow or other, I guess. I heard from Ina that you guys aren't doing too badly yourselves. I guess everything I went through to, the tr to train the two of you amounted to something after all. Well, I guess we better report in as well. Go ahead, let's hear what you've got. We did it! Yay! 2,000 Mira and 4 BP. No bonus points, though. Good work, you two. How about you, Sherazar? Don't you think they've done a fine job? For a bunch of newbies, you did an average job. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. But you shouldn't be satisfied with that level of work. Especially you, Estelle. You're always the first to get on that high horse of yours. Okay, I mean, that's, that's fair. Okay, okay, I get it. Great work, all of you. I'm surprised that we were able to fill the work gap left by Cassia so quickly. I wonder if we'll be able to relax for a while now. Hmm. Maybe. Well, that won't be a problem since there are plenty of other small jobs like patrolling the roads and exterminating monsters. Hmm. Alright, it's time for my reward! I'm gonna go drink until I can't drink anymore! Estelle, Joshua, you two join me as well. <laughs> oh, so what you're saying is that you're turning down my invitation? You've got a lot of nerve to do something like that to your mentor. What am I supposed to say? Your drinking habits are intolerable. You cause a ruckus, dance like a maniac, and try to strip in public! Charizard, just where do you think you're going to take these underage kids? Come on, the alcohol is what makes things entertaining. But if you're so against coming along, then I don't need you, Estelle. Yep! And she runs off of Joshua! <laughs> um, Shara? Joshua, you look like you make a fine companion tonight. Whether we're talking booze or something else, I'll help break you in. 
All right, you big pervert, Joshua, what are you drooling like that for? It's not what you think. We've got a major problem! Mayor Claus? Estelle, Joshua, Sherazard! I'm glad to see you all! This is terrible! My home! Disaster! It's gone! I think I can guess what happened, but, um... Apparently, it seems as though my home was robbed while I was out! I heard something... I had something to speak to, uh, with Father Divine about. So I w was over at the chapel. And when I came home, it was rather odd for no one to greet me at the door, so I looked around and the rooms were in a state of disarray! Don't worry, they're both fine. I found them locked up in the attic. It's lucky that no harm came to anyone. It won't get us anywhere just sitting around here. So can you take us to that crime scene, Major Claus? Absolutely, I appreciate your cooperation. Uh, indeed. <laughs> uh, can you please not take me straight? Damn it. Yeah, it is. The safe is wide open. How did they open it, though? The Sepium, which is supposed to be a gift for Her Majesty the Queen, has been stolen. I'm really sorry, especially after having you go through all the trouble to bring it here. It's not you who should be apologizing. It's the crooks who are in the wrong. By the way, how are the other rooms in the house? So, they clearly knew it was in here. Estelle, Joshua, there's something I want you to do. I'll speak with the mayor about this incident. I want you two to check out the inside of the house. Hmm. Since we're all here, splitting up wood would be the best way to cover up most ground. Alright, we'll see what we can do. Proceed carefully and deliberately. Okay, well, we might be graded on this, so I'm not going to just run out of the house. I wasn't done talking to people in town, though, either. Uh, indeed. Oh, that music! It's just like the mayor to have a ton of difficult books like this. Mm-hmm. The criminal either had no idea about their value, or... This is just a clutter box, right? It's empty as well. The box looks like it was... or the lock looks like it was burned off. The criminal may have used an orbital gun. This is just like the mayor to have a ten of... yeah, we already... We already went over that. This place is all torn apart. Lita would probably faint if she saw this. It looks like all the books from the shelf have been scattered about the room. It seems kind of senseless to, senseless to have done this. There are several documents inside the drawer. They don't appear to have been disturbed. Hmm. The fact that these are as they are suggests that they have no political aim involved. This pot's been tipped over, but there's nothing inside. It looks like it was only tipped over after being hit by something with force. The gift that we delivered to the mayor. Hmm. 
those crooks are gonna get away- aren't gonna get away with this. I almost said they are gonna get away with this. That would just have been completely wrong. Doesn't look like they jammed the door either. They must have decrypted the combination and opened it. Or... It's not impossible, but I imagine that'd be difficult for anyone but a skilled pro. My best guess is they figured out the combination using a much simpler means. Well, let's see. They could have, for example, dusted the buttons with a special powder. A powder like that would have absorptive properties, and due to its finesse, it would be invisible to the naked eye. However, if blue light were placed over it, it would glow. Now let's imagine for a minute that the mayor entered the combination with the powder present. The powder on the buttons would stick to his fingers and come off. This would be one way to know which buttons were pressed. Not exactly. As the powder collected on the fingers increased, the amount taken from the buttons would decrease. In other words, the crooks would press the buttons starting from the least luminescent. It might be a little more difficult if there are duplicate numbers, but the crooks should be able to make a pretty good guess as to what they are. Plus, you can just try a couple different times, probably. Saves have some tolerance for that, right? Most of them do. Just as I thought, powder was used, and here I was thinking the mayor just had the code like written down somewhere. Who indeed? Hmm. Right now, figure out who that is. That's going to be the tricky part. I wonder. Oh, there's a leaf on the ground. What's this? Sevious leaf. Don't you think it's a bit strange for a leaf to be in a place like this? On top of that, it's not a type that grows around here either. You're sharp, Estelle. This is the place where the residents were locked up. It was probably dropped by one of the criminals as they were locking everybody up. doesn't appear to be in there. Oh, there it is. A tree leaf. Just, that's it? Okay. Wait. Can I look at it? No. No, I cannot. Excuse me. I had such a scare! I was cleaning up the attic when suddenly a bunch of masked men came barging in! How many people were in the group? Hmm, I'd probably guess three or four. And that reminds me, one of them was short. It might have even been a girl. <laughs> I feel for you, Lita. Yeah, and they'll deserve it too. Okay, well, I'll wait until I get downstairs to say it, but I think I have an idea of what happened here. Are you alright, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. The intruders weren't violent towards us. Is there anything you noticed in particular about the intruders? They're wearing masks, so I wouldn't be able to tell you about any of the specific features. That reminds me, I'm certain the front door was locked. I locked the door just to be safe since my husband had gone to the chapel, and there were just the two of us here. I wonder how in the world they got in. I mean... Oh? Look, there's some marks on this railing. 
it looks like something metal dug into the wood. Okay, I'm glad we found that. Didn't see that at first. Yeah, they came in through the top door. Through the top, as I thought. Got in another way. Okay then. This is what things looked like when I came home. I didn't get a glimpse of the criminals either. I had the mayor run me through all the details. How about you two? Did you find anything? Uh, we found several pieces of evidence. I think we were thorough. Then let's check the details one by one and see what you came up with. First off, what were the criminals after? Uh, the septum in the safe. How many of them were there? Uh, three or four. Where did they get into the house from? The terrace on the second floor. Point blank, what is the portrait of those thought to have committed the crime? Uh... It has to have been someone who visited recently, because they, ha they dusted the uh, safe. Wow, you did a good job investigating. It looks like we're able to specify who the criminals are with this information. Mayor Claus, over the past two or three days, have any new faces been in your study? When you put it that way, I guess there's been a number of people. The reporter for the magazine was one. Uh, hmm. But the at the time of the crime, they are with us in Esmela's Tower. I think we can cross them off the list of suspects. Other than that, there was only Josette. Uh, well, let's not kid ourselves here. Would it, though? Criminals aren't always dressed, so they can be easily spotted. And I feel like... I think it was really weird that she was wearing her Royal Academy uniform when she was on break in the freaking boonies. Uh, so... I would believe it if that was a decoy. That, too. But I'm telling you, she was a really nice girl. She was modest and courteous. Right, Joshua? I'm sorry to say this, but I completely disagree. During that time, when the mayor put the septium into the safe, that girl's eyes lit up like a hunter's, eyeing her prey. Of course, since I had no conclusive evidence, I couldn't call her out on it. But at least to me, she didn't look like an ordinary student. You must be joking. Unbelievable! At any rate, it looks like we're going to have to ask her a few questions. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, would you? If I remember right, she said she would be staying at the hotel. But she said something about taking off from Roland sometime today. Well, looks like we're going to have to hurry then. Estelle! Joshua! Let's try to get to the hotel first. 